Hello, my friends, and welcome to Polina Art. Today, we're going to be painting this beautiful Christmas cardinal. I have created a pattern for this painting, and I'm going to link it below so you can download it for free. If you would like to paint your own bird, you can print a reference photo and do your own using the simple and easy techniques that I'm going to demonstrate today. For this painting, I'm using my folk art acrylic paint, but of course you can use any acrylic paint you have at home. If you would like to see how I painted this pretty Christmas cardinal, stay with me and let's paint together. And for that, I'm going to use white, red, and green. With a soft mop brush, I'm going to pick up some of the pink that I've mixed with my red and white. Just a little bit on the brush. I don't want my brush too wet. And I'm going to start adding some color up here, just very softly. And I'm going to add some at the bottom too. With the same brush, I'm going to pick some of my lighter green that I created with my green and white. And I'm going to do the same, more so on the edges of my painting. going to add some white and I have some of my green just my dark green and I can add some on the top here just to add more contrast once I'm happy with my background and my background is dry I'm going to place my bird exactly where I want it in this painting and this is the reason why having a pattern is nice because there's less room for mistakes you put your image exactly where you want it I'm going to secure it with some painters tape so it doesn't move on me and I'm going to go ahead and trace my cardinal onto my canvas Okay, I've transferred my cardinal onto my canvas. And what I'm going to do now is with my liner brush and some black, I'm going to define the face. Thank you. 
now going to paint my cardinal white just with a small felber brush. The reason I'm doing this is because acrylic paint is very translucent, especially the reds, oranges, and yellows, and I want my cardinal to be very, very bright. And I'm leaving these lines that define some of the feathers so I can see them once I start applying the color to my bird. my cardinal dries, I'm going to start doing the branches. For that, I'm going to use a round brush and I'm going to pick up some brown, some berry wine, and some white. And I'm just going to dab these colors without blending them too much. And I'm just going to dab my brush to create the effect of the branch. I can add some little branches. And you can adjust your colors as you go along with an angle brush and using the same colors we can start adding the branches for the berries. Because we're creating branches, it doesn't matter if it's messy. In fact, if it's messy, it looks much better. The white is dry. I'm going to start adding a layer of red and I'm using the same small filbert brush that is old and the bristles are a little bit messy, but that works good. And I'm going to start adding some red. And I'm going to follow, follow the way the feathers go. This is just our first layer of paint. And I'm going to do this, these feathers here. And I'm starting from the bottom up, just to create a better effect on the feathers. And I'm trying to leave some of my, my design in there just to follow the pattern of the feathers. I'm gonna add more yellow in this area. Just to start adding dimension and volume to my cardinal. There's a light, lighter area in here. With more yellow in this area. With a bit of my wine color and some white, I'm going to paint 
the feet and the claws of my bird. I'm going to add some red on the beak. And some of my berry wine and white in this area. This is just the first layer of the bird. While this dries, we're going to start doing the berries. For my berries, I'm going to use a small sponge, a small beauty blender. You can use your round brush if you don't have one of this. And I'm going to pick up red on one side and my berry wine on the other side. And with those two colors, I'm going to start creating my berries. And I'm basically going to press the sponge and twist it. I'm going to make sure every berry has a stem. Okay, we're going to continue painting our bird. I'm going to be working now with an angled brush. This is Amidine number five. You can use a flat brush if you prefer. And I'm going to dab my brush in some folk art floating medium. And I'm going to remove the excess. I have red on the heel and berry wine on the toe. And I'm going to blend these two colors. And I'm going to add a dot of white with the berry wine. And I'm going to start creating the tail of my cardinal. And I'm going to go on the other side. For these feathers, I have white and red at the heel and some berry wine at the toe. And with the same berry wine at the toe and the pink at the heel, I'm going to start creating the feathers here. And I'm going to move my brush following the feathers of the bird. I'm going to move to a little bit larger brush. This is Amidin number six. And I have berry wine at the toe and red at the heel. And I'm going to continue doing the feathers of my bird overlapping each other. I now have yellow on the toe and red at the heel because my bird is getting lighter up here. And I'm going to do the same in here. I'm going to start doing the feathers up here now.
And with my small filbert brush, I'm just going to blend here. I'm going to add more of an orangey shade up here. With white, I'm going to add some highlight on the beak. I'm going to blend it a little bit. I'm going to add a dot of white in the eye. We're going to let the bird dry. With my midi number six brush, angled brush, I'm going to have some green at the toe and white at the heel. I'm going to add a few leaves just by pressing my brush and sliding. I added a little bit of berry wine with the white so the leaves show more. And I just want a few. I'm gonna redo this one so it shows more. With my angle brush, I have some floating medium at the heel and some white at the toe. And with this, I'm going to add some highlight on this side of my bird. You can add a little bit at the top. And always remember to follow how the feathers grow on a bird. And I'm going to add some highlight on this side. Some highlight on this side as well. If it's too much, you can just blend it in a little bit like that. A little bit of highlight on the tail. Going to add some berry wine in the center of the, the tail. We're going to add some in, some berry wine in here, just to give our bird lots of dimension. Okay, let's do the feet. For the feet, I'm going to add berry wine on this side. and berry wine and white at the top just to add some of a highlight. And with my liner brush and some berry wine and dark brown, I'm going to add more detail on the feet not too much, but just to create a bit of a 
bird like feet and claws. Just going to add some lines here following the shape of the leg. I'm going to add some white in here just to give it a more, more dimension. I'm going to go over with my liner brush and black and I'm going to define the beak again. You can see it got a little bit lost. We can go over the some of the hair around here. We can feather it to create a more natural effect. We're going to leave our bird. I think I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Let's finish the berries. With my small angle brush, I have some floating medium at the heel and some berry wine at the toe. And I'm going to do some floating on my berries, just on the bottom side. Adding some shade. This is called floating. You can add shadow or highlight very easily, just like we did on our bird. And you don't have to do every single berry, just a few of them to create more dimension. I'm gonna do the same, but now I have yellow at the toe. And I'm going to add a bit of a highlight on the other side of the berry. Maybe at the top. This is a very easy way to create beautiful results. And again, you don't have to do every single berry. Some of them can be in the dark. And with a small round brush and white, I'm gonna add a dot on each berry to add them some shine. I'm going to add some shadow on the tree here where my bird is on. I now have black and brown on my, on my round brush. And I'm just going to dot the end right here. All these little details really add to the painting. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all of my berries. I'm just dotting the brush. Nothing fancy, but it creates a beautiful effect. You can leave your painting as is. But because this is a winter Christmas painting, I'm going to add some snow. I have some white on my round brush. And I'm just going to dab some, some of this on top of my berries and my branches. And some of it at the top in here. Just 
just like if we had some nice fresh snow. With your liner brush, you can add some detail on some of the branches. That always makes it look very pretty. Okay, my friends, our Christmas cardinal is done. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing this painting. If you like this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. If you would like to support this channel, you can do so with a coffee. I'm going to link my coffee page below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.